Hey, Jordan, how are you? I'm good, Matt. How are you? Good. Um, I wanted to ask you about Trey White. Um, I, I'm curious how you've seen him handle um, all the expectations that come with being an all pro and then getting the contract that he got. What have you noticed from him this year in terms of how he's handled all that? Yeah, man, he's the same Tredavious. Uh, you know, always out here working, always out here grinding, <laughs> always cracking jokes. But, uh, you know, he's he's a player in our defense that we rely on heavily, um, and he's shown that uh, week in, week out, day in and day out. And so, uh, you know, he's been the same Tredavious. He ain't changed a bit. I know the numbers um, probably aren't the best way to judge the secondary to begin with, and – um, you know, his interception numbers aren't the same as what they were a year ago, but what have you seen from him uh, as somebody that, you know, your job is so intertwined with his, what have you seen uh, the way I mean, he's played this year? He's got the hard, he's got one of the hardest jobs on the field. He's got a shadow, you know, the best receiver um, week in and week out. And so, you know, like I said, just his attention to detail week in and week out, uh, his communication, I think has skyrocketed from, especially, you know, from his first year here to now. Um, just his communication throughout the defense, um, you know, he really understands our defense. And uh, like I said, he's, he's a huge, huge uh, player for our defense. Leslie mentioned that there was a bit of a, I don't know what you would like. It took some time to get up to speed across the league for defenses. How much better do you guys feel as a secondary and as a defense now than you did in early September, just after not having the preseason and stuff like that? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, we've came came a long way, nowhere near where we want to be at. But at the same time, we're continuing to get better um, each and every week. Obviously, things that we can clean up, but you know, we're continuing to get better, and that's all we can. That's all we can really do. Thank you, Jordan. What's up, Jordan? Um, uh, you guys have had two weeks now um, to go back and look at that game, and I know you know we've already covered the Hail Mary, but before that, the defense in that fourth quarter. I mean, it was a really, really strong quarter. I mean, you got. Micah back, he made a couple of big plays. I mean, going back and look at that, what are some of the things that went right and maybe that you guys can build on from that fourth quarter? Yeah, we were able to find ways to, to take the ball away. Um, you know, certain situations, especially coming down the stretch, we found ways to get off the field. Um, you know, uh, you know, I think we had a, a botched punt and then we were able to get off the field. I think they kicked the field, but you know, just, in, in sudden change moments, we're able to, you know, stand up and whether they're in the red zone um, or on the field, but we're able to stand up and, and find a way to get, get off the football field. And, you know, obviously this weekend, you got a, a, a rookie quarterback that's coming in here. What have been your impressions of, of Justin Herbert and what do they do well that you guys are going to be challenged with uh, on Sunday? Yeah, man, he's playing, playing extremely well. Um, he's an he's a extremely talented young quarterback who's got a lot of bright future in this league. Um, he's throwing the ball well. He's got you know, weapons on the outside and, and Keenan Allen, Hunter, Hunter uh, Henry, and, um, and 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 Mike, and uh, you know he's got some guys that can take the top off the off the defense, and so um, you know, I think that offense you know fits his style of play, um, you know, and, and for us though we're we're gonna have to limit their explosive plays and, and not allow them to run the football. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, Jordan, how are you? It's Josh Reed. What's up, Josh? Hey, uh, do, as you've been in the league a little bit longer, ask Cole Beasley this. Hey, does it change kind of how you approach the bye week and, and what you do in the bye week? Cole said, I can't just lay around anymore. I got to stay active now. Hey, yeah, I mean, you know, I think this bye week was a little different in the sense that we obviously we had to stay at home. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it was kind of nice, you know, just not being able to, I mean, I'll say that, I, you know, if we were able to leave, I'd have, I'd have definitely left. But, you know, just being able to stay home, um, hang out with the family, you know, and, 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 you know, came in here, you know, four days of the week and, and got my workouts in, but, you know, it, it's just a good time to just wind down, man, and, and get your mind off things. And, you know, you always love buys in the late in the year. So, um, you know, it, it was good to wind down, but we're excited to be back. Um, you know, obviously with the loss against Arizona, and, you know, that was a, it was a really hard, hard loss that we took. And so um, we've moved on from that and, you know, we're able to, we're ready to bounce back. Another good young quarterback you know obviously Kyler Murray a couple of weeks ago Justin Herbert this week when you look around the league right now how impressed are you with how quickly these young quarterbacks are able to come in and just pick it up like that and just have huge passing numbers yeah um you know all those guys that you mentioned are extremely talented players um and you know they got extremely talented players around them so um you know when offense gets clicking you know they're hard to stop so 
Um, this offense definitely is putting up points on the board, and so we're going to have our hands full in, in, in trying to stop them. You guys played really meaningful games last December, obviously the playoff game against Houston too. How does that help you going forward now in the last six games of the season as, as November winds down and you get into December? Yeah, you know, just continuing to stay the course and, and not looking too far ahead. Um, continue, you know, one day at a time, one game at a time, because, you know, before you know it, you know, those six games are going to be by. And you don't want to, you know, look look back and, and say, you know, I wish I could have did this, I wish I could have did that. You know, you got to really focus on, you know, right now. Right now, you know, we have a huge game against the Chargers to, to go eight and three and to continue to be first place in the division. So, um, you know, our, our focus is right here, man, and, and you know, those games are going to come when they come, but in order to in order to be and to get where we want to be, you know, our focus has got to be right here. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate your time. Man. Yeah, thanks, man. We'll see you later. Hey, Jordan, Adam Benini, WGRZ. How you doing? Good, Adam. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, you know, you just kind of touched on it in your response to Josh partially, but Leslie really, I think two or three times on our Zoom call with him yesterday, really made it a point to talk about the mindset of moving on from how that Arizona game ended. And I'm sure you each maybe do it individually, but can you kind of take me through that process um, and maybe how important it is uh, as you move forward to kind of leave that one of the past? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a football player. I played this game long enough to understand that you're going to be on the bad end of some plays. You know, one play is going to define me as a football player, one play is going to define us as a football player. So, um, you know, you made a play, we moved on. You know, that's, that's, just, that's the NFL, that's the football. Um, at the end of the day, you know, obviously that it hurt, but at the same time, you know, you move on. You lost the game, you learn from it, you move on. That's what you have to do. I've been in this league eight years now, and and you can't let one loss or one play turn into two bad plays or, or two losses. You know what I mean? So um, you gotta have a short memory in this league, especially at DB. Um, you know, he made a he made a great play, and we move on from it. That's that's football. And just one other follow up to that. Thank you. I appreciate that response. Um, a lot of talk about the run defense and how that needs to get short, you know, collectively um, as a group. And and it seemed like listening to Leslie, you've identified the type of runs that have hurt you guys, right? And can expect more of them because teams see that on tape or whatever. I guess how valuable is the bye week now as you look toward the stretch and, and as a group kind of addressing that specific area? Yeah, uh, I was talking to Micah yesterday. We had came in yesterday and kind of had a walk through, jog through practice. And, excuse me, and it was a lot of it was the practice was stuff that we have, you know, seen that is that is hurting us before. And uh, what was nice about it is we were able to, you know, sit down and, and talk about, you know, in our meetings beforehand, you know, these specific plays. And, uh, you know, I, I think it definitely helped kind of open our eyes as to, you know, it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing to see it and understand, you know, this is how we're being attacked and, and you know, this is how we got to fit it. And so, um, you know, like I said, just continue to get better. And I definitely think yesterday and today we're, we're on that pace. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Jordan, it's John. Um, What's up, John? In regards to the, this home stretch, obviously you guys have played meaningful games down the stretch recently. Uh, but how do things change? How, do, how does maybe the, the feel of these games change knowing that, that you're trying to ramp things up heading into January? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you got to start with – you're asking how the games change? Just the, maybe the field, it, it, just the intensity. We hear how playoff football yeah, I is mean, different. Yeah, I mean, one, you got to understand the weather's changing. And so, uh, especially here in Buffalo, you know, teams te – you know, you got you to gotta have an attitude to be able to stop runs because, you know, a team isn't going to come in here when it's, you know, 20 degrees and raining and try to throw the ball 40 times. And so – um, understanding that the attitude that you got to have playing in Buffalo has got to be a pissed off attitude, especially late down the stretch, because that's what that's what we're going to see. We're going to see downhill runs, um, and, and it's just an attitude that we got to have to be physical and, and, and stop that. But you know, I think just understanding, like I was saying, I can't remember what I was talking earlier, but you know, just one day at a time, one game at a time, because you know those those games are going to come quick before you know it. But you know, if we don't handle business right now and Today, tomorrow, throughout the week, you know, it's not going to mean anything in, in late December. And I know offenses have different nuances and different attack, but they made already a lot of high powered offensive teams. With that becoming more regular week to week, does, does that make it, I don't want to use the word easier, but, but is, it, is it 
I guess easier is the word I'll use, does it make it easier to prepare for these high powered attacks considering it's a week to week thing rather than a every now and again thing? I wouldn't say it was, it makes it easier. Um, you know, this is the NFL. You can't really expect the offense, you know, to come out and, you know, I don't want to say a bad word, but just be bad. You know what I mean? Like, I, to me, I think every offense that I go out and play is going to have something, you know, that's going to attack us and we're going to have to figure out a way to stop it. And so um, I don't want to say it's going to be easier. Every team has a game plan, you know, game plan offenses, game plan plays, game plan routes, um, you know, that, we, that you're just going to have to adjust to within the game. You know, I don't want to say it's easier, but – you know, it's the NFL. We understand each week we're going to have different challenges. Um, you know, some teams might have a really good offensive line and, you know, an okay wide receiver core, and, or some teams might have vice versa. But at the same time, they're going to find plays in their playbook to attack, you know, what you're, what you're showing. And then you're going to, have, you know, it's the game within the game. You find a ways to, to counter it. Cool. Hey, thanks, man. Yep. Yes, Jordan. Uh, George Radney, Challenge of Community News. How you doing, George? Pretty good. And yourself? I'm doing all right. Beautiful. Uh, two quick questions. One, it seems like you guys play much better when you're aggressive, when you're coming at, going after the quarterback, uh, chasing them down. And in, in, in the next two weeks, you have the Chargers and the 49ers, two uh, most likely young quarterbacks starting. Do you think you guys will go after them to, you know, rattle these young guys? That's a secret. I can't tell you that. Oh, oh, man. Right? Okay. You know, I, want nah, to get man, I can't just say, you know what I'm saying? I can't just give you the whole game plan out here. You're going to get me right. in trouble. Ah, Lee, they got cameras in here and everything, man. Oh, man, nah. I don't need to do that. But you think you'd be more aggressive? Let's say a defense yeah. would be a little more aggressive. Nah, Le Leslie, and Frey, or, uh, Leslie and Sean, you know, they were an aggressive football team, offensively, defensively, and special teams. And so, um, like you said, you saw it in the Seahawks game. That's how we want to play, you know, each and every. We don't want to play on our heels. You know, we want to attack. And, uh, you know, that's who we are. As a, that's our philosophy as a defense. And also now with the running game, look like more teams. Now with the weather getting colder and the weather may be turning bad, you think it may be uh, more, more emphasis on stopping the run? For sure, yeah. 